today we're going to be taking a look at your suggestions on how they can make rise of kingdoms better what's going on guys cheers so if you guys didn't know there's actually a suggestions channel in the official rise of kingdoms discord and this is where the community can go if they have a suggestion for the game that they want the developers to look at if you post a suggestion here and it gets over 100 positive votes then it does get sent to the developers so if you guys didn't know this existed make sure you go and use this discord channel so that way some of the improvements that you have can be seen anyway let's jump right in right off the bat we see remove crystal tech has gotten upwards of 70 votes here Here's another try I actually have a video coming out talking all about crystal tech and my opinion about it that will be coming out very soon so I'm not going to be talking about that here today but it is a major suggestion so I didn't want to ignore it but it deserves a whole separate video this suggestion basically is expressing major concerns about the current state of free-to-play players one thing is mentioning that it requires literal decades of VIP collecting to just make any sort of progress at all for free-to-play which is a huge problem Problem. they also mentioned that no amount of grinding will let free to play max crystal tech I talk about that in my video and mentioning that like nerfing marauders and things like that lowering the healing cap is all detrimental to the free to play player base and all of these things I 100% agree with and they even mentioned here that they don't have to turn their entire monetization strategy upside down but just giving free to play a bone giving them something so that way they feel like they're not just wasting their time to be completely destroyed by all the whales is definitely uh this is definitely concerning for sure this person says introduce a legendary true siege commander with a siege tree not gathering and it should be able to lay waste to cities and structures with full siege armies balanced by the fact that it's very very vulnerable to open field and slow as hell but that would counter the potential damage it could do on walls or structures i have actually mentioned this in my video where i talked about some of the commanders that i would like to see in rise of kingdoms and in that video i mentioned a siege commander i think that would be a good idea right now obviously we have a nice balance between cavalry inf infantry and archers and siege are literally just used for gathering resources or to collect resources from a city after it's already been rallied but the point of siege weapons like historically was to attack city walls like it should actually be beneficial to use siege to hit a full health city I don't know I think it would just be really cool to have a use for siege other than gathering resources I mean the fact that players actually delete siege units to have an advantage going into kvk matchmaking like a unit in the game that you don't care about just deleting t5 siege are actually seen as bad to have which is just poor design this player suggests creating more ways to obtain passports such as buying them with gems or any other certain method right now you have to grind for months to get the necessary passports especially as a free-to-play player or you have to buy them so the suggestion would be to add more alternative methods other than alliance shop to get passports this i 100 percent agree with because if you are in a kingdom where you know the alliances don't let you into their alliance or the alliance leaders don't put passport pages into the shop then you're screwed right as a free-to-play player you you like how do you leave a, a kingdom like that you can't right and so those that's just not healthy for the game i guess the only reason they don't let you buy them with gems is because then the whales might use their gems instead of buying the bundles but i don't know they could put it in like the vip shop for vip zero and only fill like five passports per week or something like that and then you know mega whales would still have to waste a ton of time and then they would still end up buying the bundle I honestly don't understand why passports are so difficult to come by because players migrating to another kingdom will increase their engagement with the game they'll be in a kingdom that they actually like and enjoy or at least they're trying out something new and increased engagement is always good for a game right so gatekeeping that ability it just like if players can't migrate they're just gonna quit right so like I, I don't see why they're uh they're so stingy with these this is a suggestion that I've mentioned before they say please create a button to select and control multiple marches at the same time it would be great to use while fighting which will give a better fighting experience also create a button to dispatch multiple marches from the city hall um this is something that I've asked for before and I've gotten people giving me some backlash right because obviously you know if you're in a scenario where somebody is just jumping out of their city hitting you and then jumping back the fact that they could insta swarm you with like five or seven marches and then recall immediately that would get annoying i understand that right but the fact that like in order to select 
three of my five marches i have to double tap them on the screen during the battlefield which could be hard if there's like a million other players there or i have to double tap it on the sidebar and that might select the army that i have standing next to a rune with a single tier one cavalry unit that's in a totally different zone right and that's just annoying it's, it's just stupid so i i don't uh i think there should be a way to select multiple marches without doing either of those two things this player is suggesting that they change the bastion quest system because it keeps giving the donate materials back to back no matter how many times you skip um this is definitely true these quests are just generally pretty bad for free to play players because you know they're just not going to have as many materials in abundance i think that they should maybe keep the amount of these quests that exist but just change them all to animal bones i mean i don't know if i'm out of the loop but does anybody actually use animal bones like who's actually crafting multiple gathering sets i don't know maybe i'm just lazy but i i just bones are disposable for me so give me a reason to have them this is a small one but definitely important it says when sending a march to an alliance or resource center build auto select siege by default currently it only does that after the build is complete this i've definitely noticed before if they place an alliance pit and you go to build it it auto selects like infantry or something like that which is just stupid like why like clearly i'm not going to build with infantry why would i build an alliance pit with infantry that army is going to stay there once it's finished so obviously i want to gather with siege so it should just auto select siege this is a suggestion for removing the healing help limits which they implemented a long time ago i 100 percent agree 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 i'm tired of being nice about this lilith what the fuck? This player says remove the healing cap or make it 3000 helps per day 1000 is not enough and that clearly doesn't help the bot problem rock community never liked healing cap please remove it I agree I, I mean you know three three thousand that's a that's a good starting place right but I would love some transparency from the developers has this actually helped the botting problem in any meaningful way okay if it reduced botting by two percent it's not worth it it's negligible if this healing cap combated botting and it reduced botting by 30 percent great you should tell the community that that way we stop yelling at you okay but you have to be transparent and prove it with data otherwise until then everybody is going to keep reminding you that this was a bad decision this player said make legendary commanders take less sculptures to expertise like 600 550 whatever 690 is absurd especially for free to play and low spenders this I agree although if they reduce the amount then it just makes other players feel stupid for expertising that commander where somebody else can expertise that commander for fewer sculptures I personally think that a better solution would be for them to increase the ways that you can get universal sculptures as well as increase the amount of skill reset items you can get in the game because then players can actually make better decisions on do I want a 5155 commander or a 5515 commander and those types of commanders are effectively like expertising for fewer sculptures so that's sort of what I feel this player just says add a new civilization I agree I, I feel like the thing that they did with Vikings was cool they had this big marketing push with Vikings and everything and then it turned out that the Viking commanders were just trash I would love for them to add a new civilization with commanders that actually shake up the game a little bit and that are actually usable by free to play players I don't think I've ever seen a Ragnar in the open field period plus the Viking civilization brought a lot of hype to the game which is pretty cool considering the fact that it didn't like break the meta or do anything crazy like that right so new civilizations are awesome and I hope that they release a new one soon make books of the Covenant easier to get or give more books from barb forts I've always thought this was the case right it's always been the case that you pretty much have to spend gems on books of the covenant and in the video where i talk about the truth of the watchtower i talk about how this is just uh, it's just a progression metric right the watchtower doesn't do anything other than force you to wait a long time to get t5 units that's literally all it does books of the covenant are a similar thing now, obviously rally size matters right but it's just making players take longer to get to t5 and the longer that they feel that it takes to get the end game they'll probably just quit before then right i mean even if they increased the drop rate by like 30 percent from barb forts i still think it wouldn't be enough right so you know the least they could do would be that this suggestion says that they should put advanced and elite commanders only in silver chests and epic and legendaries only in gold chest that would increase the likelihood of legendary commanders cameo and people would want to open those chests even if they have to buy it 
uh this i 1000 percent agree and i understand at the beginning of the game obviously you know advanced and elite commanders you, you may need to use like lancelot for march speed or, or, or dragon lance or whatever right uh, but in the late game opening up a gold chest and getting a full summon of Tamo, like it's actually just a waste it's literally just a waste it's so stupid on top of the fact that they've added more legendary commanders to the gold chest which decreases the probability of getting any single legendary commander from those gold chests they could offset that distribution by just removing the stuff that literally nobody wants like literally no player wants to get a blue commander from a gold key this is why adding commanders like mulan and ragnar were pointless in the game and maybe not so much mulan because some players did invest in her for arc but they go through all of this effort to create a new commander and then they put them in the gold keys and then no one gets to use it like it's just a waste of time and resources on their part so you would sort of kill two birds with one stone here by increasing the drop rate of the legendary commanders which mind you aren't even good okay the legendary commanders in the gold keys aren't even good they're just maybe slightly better than the epics of that same troop type i guess with the only exception of being charles martel and it removes all the fluff garbage that nobody cares about this says stop killing the game you know what that's actually a great idea i wonder if lilith ever thought about that because it seems like they haven't if we're being honest this player is saying increase daily vip or introduce milestone rewards and by that i don't mean three silver keys and 150 gems serious rewards lots of players logged in daily for more than three years show them some appreciation this i 100 percent agree with obviously we've talked about the fact that the vip uh, accumulation over time is pathetically low compared to how long it takes to get maxed but yeah i feel like every year they have a rise of kingdoms yearbook and it just shows you stats which is cool but why isn't there any reward for logging in every single day for three years what that tells players is that the game doesn't care that you've been loyal to it for three years which i, I don't know if i were a game developer i would want to praise the players that have been playing my game every day for years like clearly whether you appreciate them or not they're still probably going to come back right they've done it for three years in a row i don't know am i am i crazy i feel like that's something that a game developer would want to implement honestly a lot of these suggestions are very similar a lot of them are talking about crystal technology and the lack of vip points and the worst part is that a lot of people in this suggestion section are obviously very frustrated they're very frustrated with the game and many of them are aware that Lilith is not even looking at this channel a lot of players probably feel like this is just a black hole to make you feel like you're submitting your suggestions when in reality no one's seeing it it's extremely frustrating for players who want to make the game better and they feel like the developers don't even they don't care a little bit they don't even care a tiny tiny little bit to even respond like can Lilith just make a statement saying hey we're not ever increasing VIP because you can go fuck yourself like at least be honest right at least respond to these suggestions these suggestions have been the same for like nine months people have been complaining about VIP people have been complaining about crystal technology forever 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 and Lilith just doesn't acknowledge it it's so frustrating anyway guys if you enjoyed this video drop a thumbs up on it it helps get the video out into the YouTube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video and don't forget to submit your feedback to the developers every single time that there's an update there's a green link you can submit your feedback click that give them a piece of your mind and go into this suggestion section and upvote the things that you think are good even though after months and months and months it seems like and feels like that Lilith is just completely ignoring this anyway with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been Omniarch I will talk to you guys again soon peace